Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. I was super duper fortunate and had hit the Hobby Lobby 90% off sale just at the right time and found some really, really good pieces. So I'm gonna show you several of the things that I found and how I'm going to change them to make them into more modern farmhouse pieces. The first one we're gonna work on is this centerpiece that actually started out as a shelf. So sometimes you look at things and you need to kind of reimagine them. So these had a beautiful X detail on the ends. You can see it had brackets on the back so you could hang it in the wall. It was normally $54.99 and I got it for $5.49. And right away I knew I wanted to turn this into a centerpiece. So here I am measuring one of the sides to create a shelf on the top. So what I did is I had a one by six on hand. I measured it to where it would sit right into that opening, cut it down to size, and then took it over to my other table to sand it down. To get this to fit flush, I flipped it on its side and sat that piece down on the bottom, which will eventually get flipped over and become the top. And I'm just using my brad nailer and one and a quarter inch brad nails to nail this into place. Now here's that extra board pieced in there. You can see I didn't paint it or anything. I just kind of left it so it sort of matched the tone of the wood that was already on the shelf. I took this into my she shed, put it in the middle of my work table, and stacked a bunch of white candles that I already had on hand. Even some of these are from the Dollar Tree. Others are from our wedding, actually, from lanterns and things that we had. And then also some greenery I had from a Hobby Lobby that I already had on hand. And I just sort of made sure to kind of get a really random look and tucked the greenery in between all of the candles. And then I also had two of these candlesticks from a thrift store that I added to the sides to kind of balance it all out. And that's all there was to creating this centerpiece, which actually started out as a shelf. And for only $5, I think this was a huge score and win. If you enjoy repurposed items just as much as I do, please give this video a thumbs up. That shows me that you enjoy these types of videos so I can bring you more in the future. Next is this wood sign that had a little bit of twist to it. You can see on the front, it was actually a baseball print and it was raised up in the center too. So it kind of had some like blue dots or something to raise up that middle part. So I really, really loved the basic design of this. I paid only $2.39. You couldn't make a wood sign for that. So it's such a good, good deal. And I also had printed off this free printable. I will put this down in the description box. It came from a blog that I enjoy. I wanna make sure I link them down below so if you need free printables, it's a great resource. And then I started taking off all of the packaging and realized that this was not a wood sign. The wood was actually made out of plastic. So I was sort of surprised. I didn't realize that until I started taking staples out. But if it fooled me, I'm sure it'll fool most people too. So I went ahead and just cut my free printable down to size. I did print mine on some craft paper to give it more of an aged look. And then yes, all I did was take a glue stick and glued that right onto the front. Could not have been more simple, but gave me a piece that I can now use in my home. Obviously a baseball print would be cute in a boy's room, but not in a family room. So definitely a cute and super quick and simple flip for only about $2.39. These sconces turned out to be my favorite project of this video. I found these corbels and thought they were corbels for the wall, but actually later realized they are more like bookends. So they had little felt feet. They were normally $34.99 and I got them for only $3.49 a piece and decided to turn them into sconces. So I had a one by 12 and my mom made me this cute hello sort of wall hanging. 
and I actually use that as a template. It is a 10 inch round piece of wood that she used and it was the perfect size for this project. So I just traced that onto my one by 12 and then cut the one by 12 down. So it'd be a little bit easier to work with. I'm gonna be using my jigsaw on this wiggly setting so that I could cut uh, the circle out instead of just keeping it stationary to cut straight lines and followed my line around. I will say, definitely check your craft stores. I'm sure you can find a 10 inch round piece of wood that is pre-cut that would make this a lot more simple. I didn't have one on hand, so I went ahead and DIY'd this part. After I had my circle cut, I found the center of it and took it over to my miter saw and cut it in half. That way I had two half circles, one for each one of my corbels. I did go ahead and sand these down and made sure to really hit those edges to get out any of the imperfections of when I was cutting them. And I will have to say I am pretty proud of these half circles because I'm not sure I could have done as good of a job using scissors. It does take some time and some patience with the jigsaw, but they turned out really, really nice. I'm going to be using some acrylic paint to give these a stained look. This is the color Traditional Burnt Umber by Americana. And I'm just using my foam paintbrush to apply it. I did one side, flipped them over, did the edges, and did the opposite side too. I do get a lot of questions and comments asking why I don't just go ahead and stain these pieces, and you absolutely can. Wood stain does have to sit overnight though, so this is a much more quick option as acrylic paint dries in minutes versus hours with even a water-based wood stain. Now to work on the corbels, I needed to find a way to hang these on the wall. And since they were either, I'm pretty sure they were kind of like a ceramic type material, I wasn't able to add wood picture hangers to the back. So I literally took my drill to the back and screwed holes into them. That way I could just sit them right over a screw or a nail that I would put in the wall. And now to add the wood onto the corbels, I'm using super glue's double-sided mounting tape. I just added a couple strips to the top of the corbels, laid them flat, that way the corbel and the wood would lay flat like it would up against the wall. Made sure to center it before pressing it flat to secure it into place. So from $35 bookends to $3.50 sconces, I don't think you could get a better deal than this. And I think they turned out so cute. I added them to my shiplap wall above my faux fireplace, which is a video soon to come on my brand new channel, The Cozy Christmas Cottage. So if you aren't subscribed to that, check the link below. Also, I'll have more farmhouse style home decor DIYs popping up on your screen that you can check out next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.